What's up, YouTube? It's Enzo Pure 29 hanging out back with another update. Um, today, I'm going to talk about something different today, and it's about motorcycles. Uh, if y'all weren't aware, well, you probably weren't because I didn't tell you. Um, I'm interested in motorcycles. Um, I always loved them, and I'm here to talk about it. So, yeah, about April, April 14th is when I got my license. So it hasn't been that long, but I, I did get it. Um, I tried out last year for it and uh, failed it. <laughs> I dropped the bike, and you can't drop the bike on the test, or it's automatically fail. So I did that. So um, I decided to do it again this year as an early birthday present for me, and uh, really concentrate on it and stuff like that. And um, your girl passed it. Um, this book right here in front of me is the basic rider course. It's the handbook. Um, you can find this on the internet. Uh, let's see. Yeah. You just put that in right here, and then it should come up. Yeah, it should come up. Um, for those that live in PA, it is free. I know if you live out of PA and you, and you come here, I think it's probably like 200 bucks or something like that. That's a little steep, but... Um, it's not steep because it it really pays attention and details into your um, safety and what do you have to do to get out there on the road. So um, you take the test and it's like a four day thing requirement. Um, the first two days is you're basically going over this book, this whole entire book, and um, on the first day. Let's see if I can find it. Here it is, right here. These are my questions. Uh, yeah, starting from right here. These are my questions. And basically, what they want you to do is um, go on each, read each and every every question, and then answer them, and then put the page mark on it. So that's basically what they're going to have you do for the first day and the second day. And on the second day, the second half of the of that day, you're going to take a multiple choice um, question. It's about 50 questions. And notice that this book goes up to the questions are 126. And but the multiple it's multiple choice. It's only 50 questions, and that's it. Basically, it is real simple because they. Practically, the answers are all in here, and basically, there is no, like, gimmicks, no hiding or anything like that. Now, notice, if you notice on here, like, you're supposed to go through every question, but basically, on the multiple choice test, only the ones in bold are the ones that are going to be on your test, basically. All, everything that's in bold. Those are the ones that you want to like focus on more, but I suggest that you focus on everything because you're going to be going out there riding. But on the test, everything that's in bold is on your test. So this book is really good. Um, it goes through a lot of um, details. It really helped me a lot. Like here's the introduction, the course introduction, introducing to motorcycling, preparing a ride, street strategies, and all the study questions, glossary, all that stuff, everything. It basically goes through everything. Um, and basically what do you do? You just highlight everything, all the most important things. Um, this really helped me out a lot. The risk deception. The more, risk, the, more, the more steps you climb, the more risk you take. The fewer factors, less risk, blah, blah, you know stuff like that. Uh, the C, search, evaluate, and execute. You're going to be using this every time you get on the bike, you know. And it goes through choosing a helmet, um, the helmet construction, um, all that. The face shield, the goggles, the footwear, the gloves, all this stuff on here. T clocks, you're gonna learn about that. What to do every time you get before you get on your bike. This is all what to check. And it 
goes over your, your, your controls, handlebars, the throttle, the clutch lever, the gear shift lever, all that stuff here, fuel su supply valve, choke control, and then cutoff switch, all that. It even has a little pattern right here that tells you how to do your, your shift pattern. It's cool. And then here you just answer a few questions like, for those that don't know how to ride a bike or what's on the bike, this is a perfect way to know everything about it. Um, and there's that fine C. Basically you want to follow that to turn on your bike. Um, yeah, so this is a really good, um, this is a really good um, test that they do. For the first two days, this is everything that you're going to go over. The first two days. Now, on the second, the, the the other two days, you'll be out there riding. So, it's like, it's, it breaks down in like five. So, you'll be like five hours one day and then five hours the next day. And basically, the first day is that basically you're going to be learning basically like baby steps. Like how to, the friction zone, everything it just covers everything it really helps then if you pass I'll show you this right here let's see this is your permit right here blah 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 that's your permit and basically what they do see I'm not gonna lie to you guys I failed it last year see failure last year I <laughs> passed the knowledge but failed it so basically uh, <laughs> So I had to take the whole thing over. If you're not in, in, in that time frame in that year, if you didn't go back 2012, then you can just take the writing course. But since I went 2013, I had to take everything all over again. And when you pass it, they just mark it past, little stamp right here, until you get your, your card in the mail. Then they give you this card right here. Basically saying that you completed this and you you're good to go babes basically so and then on your license let's see yeah yeah whatever you probably saw me you get that little c and the m there baby yeah so so now um after that i got my bike and i will show you that soon